Eyes can have a stunning effect on the viewer if they're cleaned up and enhanced in the right ways. In this video, I'm going to show you how to whiten the eyes. One thing that can help eyes become more noticeable is cleaning up veins. Veins are a pretty natural part of the eye, but for professional photos like headshots, getting rid of the veins can help the eyes stand out. You can do this with the clone stamp tool as well as the brush tool. So I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to call it veins. Now, you're going to grab the clone stamp tool right here. And you're going to make sure the blend mode is on color. As you can see, I've already done it before, but usually it's on normal. So put it on color. Keep the opacity at 100%, but the flow at 50% and make sure that the sampling is all layers. Now we want to zoom in on our eye really far into it so we can see every piece of detail. Now press alter option and click so you can sample an area and simply start painting in. Now the one thing that this will take is time. If you want to get a perfected look that's not noticeable, it will take time. So, and you want to keep sampling everywhere, every time. After you've gotten through a vein, sample again. Sample as many times as you can. It's really important that you do this because every part of the eye is going to be a slightly different color. And you notice it's not just white. Even if you brighten it up, white would look completely unnatural. Be careful to avoid the reflections. You really don't want to touch those. And be careful to avoid the eyelash shadows themselves. You don't want to get rid of those. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's zoom out and take a look at it. It's definitely gotten rid of a lot of the veins, almost all of them actually, but you can tell that there's a little bit of imperfection going on that just happens when you use the clone stamp tool too much. So you want to grab the brush tool and you want to press and hold Alt in order to sample certain areas and you can just paint right over them. Make sure that the opacity is at 50% and the mode is at normal. You can just fill them in and you can kind of help other parts of the eye a little bit. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And there we go, a veinless eye. Looks much better. And since this eye is so high resolution, it's very difficult for it to get completely um, better. But with headshots, you'll have to do a lot less work and it'll be much more noticeable. All right, guys, hopefully that helped you out. If you have any requests about touch-up or enhancements with Photoshop, please send me a request to requests at mahalo.com. And also, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.